My name is John Hastings. I'm 34 years young. I'm a stand-up comedian, and I live in Los Angeles. And look at me. I am looking at you. No, you look at the camera. I didn't look at the camera. I'm John Hastings. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm currently sitting down, desperately trying not to look at the camera. I was raised by a single mom. She worked. Uh, looking back, an ungodly amount, but was around a lot. I don't really know how she did it. We didn't have a teleporter. Yeah, absolutely amazing woman. So, Mom, I'm backstage at America's Got Talent. I can't even say how paranoid my heart is bursting. I was born uh, three months premature with something called dyspraxia, which is a pretty rare disorder. I was born without reflexes and eye-hand coordination. I had the balance of a baby giraffe so I just grew up this lopsided, uncoordinated O. Oh. And so I was picked on. But one day when I was 10, I said a zinger to a bully, and the entire class collapsed in laughter, and he never said it again. Did that lead me to my current profession? That's for psychologists and anyone with ears to really figure out. I'm gonna go on in a few moments, and we'll see what happens. Well, if they don't laugh, tell them I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm incredibly nervous in a weird, excited way, but hopefully it goes well. In the end, stand-up comedy, some people like it and some people don't. It's just annoying that I have potential hecklers with really loud noisemakers in front of them. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? Good evening. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. What's your name? My name's John Hastings. John Hastings. Yes. And what do you do in... Uh... I'm a stand-up comedian. Oh, fantastic. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing it for 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. Nothing better than showing up on the biggest talent show on a day when there's no audience. <laughs> Do you have any rough nights? Any particular rough... So many rough nights. <laughs> I mean, let's see how this goes. Like, I've played a gig to two guys and a dog, and the dog left, and this is in contention for the weirdest gig I've ever done in my life. Like, wow. he's like, Howie Mandel, Sophia from Modern Family, and Simon Cowell are all here. No one is in this room. Like, I'm not even nervous. I just feel like I took drugs and I'm about to wake up. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank Enjoy you, yourself. I promise you we're going to be a great audience for you. Thank you very much. Uh, it was nice to chat to you guys for a couple of minutes, have you get to know me. Uh, I got a weird vibe when I walk out on stage. I I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because I, it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs> now, I borrowed the money for a good purpose, brothers and sisters. I, I was getting married, and someone had to pay for the wedding. And it was nerve-wracking asking them for money. It was nerve-wracking getting married because they say the day you get married is the happiest day of your life. And that is a judgment on my life. I have lived a very exciting life. I once was on a bus and a homeless man farted so loud it knocked over a child. <laughs> Seeing my girlfriend walk up the aisle of a church will never make me that happy. <laughs> Not in a million years. Thank you for your time. I love that. I love that. You're very funny. Hey, a standing ovation yes. with three people and a crew that wants to go home. That's called reading yeah. the room. Yeah. I wow. love that. Like that, that's not a golden buzzer, but that's pretty close. Yeah. You want some more talent? I want some more talent. Keep watching and subscribe.